This is your Hub City Boy OG Bride D host of Urban Realness. Hit that subscribe button, that like button, that share notification button. Yeah, I'm on my way to work on this gloomy, beautiful day. It's a gloomy day, but it's a beautiful day. It's beautiful because a brother's out here. And as y'all know, I work through 16 hour days of sustained lifestyle that I love living now, you know, as opposed to how I was living before. So I'm gonna go a little bit here and a little bit there on this one right here. That's what I'm gonna call it. a little bit here, a little bit there, and a corpse at our office. And we're gonna get to that. Now, that's what I got to say to you cats who don't like anything that I got to say on my platform. Let me reemphasize that. My platform. You got free will not to look, not to listen, not to pay attention. And you can unsubscribe. I'm not here for subscribers. I'm not here to be monetized off of YouTube. It's not my hustle. My hustle is working 16 hour days as a civilian, as a returned citizen. And I speak on that because yesterday I received a phone call from one of my partners, one of my homeboys from Folsom and another one of my homeboys from Delano. And they both got life sentences, you know, and we were just talking and I'm looking at the beauty of what it is today and like, man, I'm so glad I'm so far removed from that. But now on the same note, I'm gonna kick one of my federal stories to show these youngsters that man, it ain't no joke in the feds. You got an international setting of crooks and criminals. So I'm gonna speak on my partner, Uwe. I met Uwe in 2006 in Terre Haute USP, United States prison, which is a maximum security joint at that time. Now it's a dropout spot. So, but back then when it was a regular joint. So me and Uwe used to play poker together. Uwe was cool cat, slim like I am, same age as me basically. Little, a couple of years younger. Nevertheless, Uwe was a jacker. He's from Columbia. They call it the boot in Missouri. You know, out St. Louis way, somewhere near there. Anyway, he was no, it was dudes on the compound whose spots he ran up in and took. They, you know, he was jacking for reals though. He wasn't jacking for no twenty dollars, fifty dollars, ten thousand dollars things of that nature. He was hitting these dudes for major paper, but they were spooked of him. So I remember we were at a poker game. And a guy put his hands on Uwe. Uwe played it all. And I said, oh, that kid rocking him to sleep. He remind me of me. The next morning, he blasted the dude out of his boots. Which, if y'all don't know what that means, he stabbed that dude from here to Missouri, basically. And they shipped him. And then the next time I seen him was in USP Victorville, United States Prison Victorville, where a lot of violence occurs. So we playing poker one day, and one of my partners out of comp and start talking reckless to we and I said hey man don't talk to that dude like that he like F him blah 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 you know but he wasn't saying it loud he was just saying it to me I said nah homie he'll rock you to sleep and he'll blast you quickly and even though my partner put in work I was just letting my partner know you know you got a worthy adversary in this dude so anyway Uwe's in a building now he's hooked up with another guy who goes to the hole when the feds we have was called books of stamps, that's the currency. That's how I made all my money prior to coming on to buy my clothes, buy my car, stuff like that. I stacked my books and convert them into cash. Well, we had like a hundred something books with an Asian partner of his that he was, you know, hustling with in the feds. And his Asian partner went to the hole. So this Portuguese guy who, out of Hawaii who was going home in four months and it just cussed his family out the day before, F y'all, this, that, and another, yeah, because he was coming home. And he was like, you know, y'all ain't nothing to me and all this. Just talking all this madness, reckless, stupidity, stupid cat. So nevertheless, he decides he wants to go in the Asian cell when Asian went to the hole and go into his stash and steal all his stamps. Well, little did he know that Uwe was the Asian's partner, you know, in hustling. So Uwe caught him doing the demonstration. So, ooh we did what he had to do. And politely grabbed him by the collar and dragged him down the stairs, clunk, 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 and threw him in front of the police office. Now his camera's all in the building. And went back upstairs. The dude was dead, by the way. Ooh we the reason I speak on it, because Uwe got 20 years on top of the 20 years he already had. You know, he should be coming on shortly now in about 10 more years. You know, that's shortly in the feds. So he smoked him. So the moral of the story is, you can't underestimate nobody in the feds, you can't misjudge nobody in the feds, and it goes down in the feds, you know? And, and they say a uh, young pup, hey pup, what's up, baby pup, from, uh, from, from, from Black Peace Stone. They say baby pup was like, his first day in the building with some homies and they was drinking some white lightning and they say, he was like, what the hell? I think that probably was his first jailhouse murder he's seen. I'm quite sure he's seen several more because he stayed in Victorville a while. 
but and it, and it was going down in there. Sometimes we'd have three murders in one week. It was vicious there, you know. And so on that note, man, that's just a deterrent for the youngsters. And back to what I said, if you don't like anything I say on my channel, you got free will. You grown, ain't you? Because anybody on my channel is working with feelings or emotions, I need to check them at the door because I'm going to say what I want to say, how I want to say it, and where I want to say it, and when I want to say it. So on that note, man, it's the hub and the dub. Y'all know what it is, too. I'm Compton, California. Look at this beautiful, gloomy day. It's beautiful because a brother ain't in a bathroom. It's gloomy, but that don't mean nothing to me because it's that baby-making weather right here, boy. Look at Cali, y'all. Look at Cali, man. Look at them. Look at the mountains, man. Look at that. Yeah, I'm on the freeway, but look at the mountains. Man, I can't beat that with a bat. Two of them, Compton, California, baby. Yeah, I'm smiling because I love it, man. Peace.